state was rated as a medium high risk area in terms of money laundering and terrorism financing. And that is not good enough because it has its huge implications for all the people in that se sector. So what we have decided to do as Redan is to co uh, cooperate with uh, SCUMO, an arm of EFCC, to ensure that we put in place within our own jurisdiction areas of making sure that we whittle down whatever loophole that is available on all the aspects of the value chain of real estate sector, both from supply financing to demand financing, so that we can put in place a mechanism that will have KYC, we know who you are, and unveiling, if it's possible, of companies that operate in the area. And that is what we have done with them. Currently, within Redan, you cannot be a member of Redan unless you subscribe to comply with and adhere to the tenets of the Anti-Money Laundering Act 2011 and subsequent developments and policies in that regard. It is something that we take so seriously in Redan because over the years we've seen the activities of people who are not members of Redan and some few elements who came into Redan seeking to make it possible for them to operate in the real estate space without keeping to the laws, the ethics that govern activities in the sector. And that is what we are doing with them. So as at now, we are put in place a mechanism. Number one, if you want to be a member of a, be a developer, you must have to come and register and be able to, a part of the registration process is that we will do a very rigorous verification of the people who are promoting that company. Do a very rigorous promotion, uh, in, uh, examination of their articles and memo intent and be able to do some check. We have now access to some online sites where some of the companies or individuals who have been involved in money laundering or terrorism financing, we can be able to discern once we enter there and put in the name like OFAC website. We'll be able to know what is happening. Who is this individual? Even those who are trying to buy, we are putting in place a mechanism, a KYC from Know Your Customer form that will allow you to abstract relevant data about the person and we have also been able to educate our members on certain indicators of suspicious activities so that once they notice those suspicious activities they will be able to file suspicious transaction reports to uh, NFIU, Nigerian Financial Intelligence Unit. And then if they also see some cash transactions or some other transactions that are suspicious they will be able to file it to SCUMO. So we are working together with the relevant agencies to be able to do that and to make sure that we get in more developers to be able to come in and understand what is required of them because ignorance of the law is no excuse. Many of the developers enter into trouble without knowing what the law says and that is why for instance in the next month uh, 14th of November we are having a seminar on a wide range of issues. We have that in Abuja on 14th, on 20th we we'll have that in Lagos, on 28th we we'll have it in Oware. So that all the developers, whether you are a member of Redan or you are not, we invite them to come. We are going to publish in the papers the venues for all these activities so that we are able to educate them on all the current financial policies and we are able to educate them on all the anti-money laundering and uh, anti-terrorism financing uh, policies and implementation protocols that are available both at the national level and at the international level. We are able to educate them also on the government effort currently to be able to use the real estate as a veritable tool to create employment and as a veritable tool to jumpstart the economy because every development is on land. We are working with uh, both the National Assembly, both the federal government and then the CBN and other financial uh, institutions and both EFCC. You cannot produce pure water in Nigeria without some form of regulation. But you can build houses worth 100 million and sell it. You can commit various acts of activity. There is no one organization as of today whereby government or the SCUMO or CBN can reach to developers. And that is not okay. Because if you want to be able to pass across critical information that will aid the growth of real estate or you want to ensure compliance, there is no one area that you can get people to do that. And that is what um, Redan has come to represent. We've been able to advance 
collaborate and advocate. So we are working with them. That is part of the program we are doing to make sure that moving forward, Nigerians can be able to know, for instance, from January next year, we will have on our website endorsed estates. Because a lot of people have been duped, a lot of people have suffered all kinds of challenges. We are going to move around now. And if you have an estate and you're a member of Redan, you should be able to open up your books so that we know that you are practicing in consonance with the uh, extant laws and policies that govern your operation. Once we we'll do know that you've done that, we'll now be able to endorse that particular estate and put it on the website so that the public will be able to know that estate A, B, C, D have been examined and they are to the best of their ability of the regulatory association to which they belong to are found to be in order. That will help to begin to delineate those that are operating illegally and those that are operating within the ambit of the policies and laws and guidelines that are in place that govern activities in the real estate space. Chakonde Housing Lecture Series is an initiative of Redan in conjunction with other housing stakeholders in the industry. As of today, Alaji Latif Kayode Jakonde, CON, remains an icon in the industry. He became 90 years old this July 2019. As governor, he was far sighted. In 1979, he was able to put in place a mechanism to ensure that the Dan Trodin have homes. As Minister for Works and Housing, he was able to put in place a policy. As the pioneer president of Real Estate Developers Association of Nigeria, he put in place, he traversed all the uh, various states of this country between 2003 to 2006, moving forward and recruiting people to move into the real estate sector and begin to develop houses for the poor. Now, I was one of those, I was there at the initial meeting and I was one of those that met him. And I'm privileged that he's alive, that this is the man that motivated many of us to join and to begin to serve selflessly. It behoves upon us to say that in this country, we still have role models, we still have icons that are worthy of emulation. And that is the idea behind Jaconde Housing Lecture Series. We are an annual event. He has impacted on lives. He has impacted in various areas. So we should celebrate such an icon. When we looked around and found out that he's not being celebrated, he's 90, he's still alive, we don't want to wait for him to make his transition to celebrate him. So we are inviting all the stakeholders, those who feel inspired by his activities, to come together with us on the 21st of November 2019 at Heaven uh, Event Center in the old Nigerian Airways premises in Ikeja, Lagos. By 11 o'clock, we will be instituting the annual Jaconde Housing Lecture Series under the distinguished chairmanship of Malam Ibrahim Aliyu, the uh, chairman of Urban Shelter. We also have in place the distinguished guest speaker, Professor Oshita Obu, who was former chief uh, economic advisor to Mr. President and former minister of planning. We also have other distinguished personalities. The governor of Lagos State, who is a real estate guru, and who have been interested in real estate will grace the occasion as a special guest of honor. The distinguished special guest of honor will be none other than Professor uh, Osibanjo, our, uh, His Excellency, our Vice President, who has spoken so well in public, in public and private about Alahaji Latif Jakonde being his role model in terms of intervention in people-oriented programs. So we invite all and sundry to come. 21st November, 11 a.m. at Heaven Event Center, Old Nigerian Airways premises. We're having the kickstart, the first in the series of what we're going to have. And we'd like to use this forum to invite all professionals, whether you're a medical doctor, whether you're listening, this icon who led a simple life. If you go to his house in Lagos, you'll be amazed. Just see a simple life. Former governor, former minister, one small one. Uh, duplex. That's where he's living up to today. Yet, he had the vision. And for those of us who have impacted, is my role model in this area. 
is the one that started right down of which I'm occupying the position as the president. And I invite others who have affected their life in the ministry in Lagos State or even outside Lagos State to come around. Let's honor him and let's examine the policies for which he is living for and say, well done, sir, we are following you. So we invite all of you to come around and be part of this epoch making event. Housing is fundamental to the physical, mental, social well-being and quality of life. In Nigeria, a large proportion of people live in slums and unplanned settlements because of their inability to own a house or rent decent accommodation. On this program, I analyze the challenges affecting the housing sector with stakeholders to prefer solutions. Each episode gives an insight into the housing plight of Nigerians. Most of the prices of those buildings are on the high side. How can the housing sector be made better? Will the dream of owning a house by an average Nigerian be achieved? What strategies are the government putting in place to provide affordable and decent housing for all? Let's bring you up to speed on the happenings in the housing sector. Keep your dates.